Traders, I'm going to stop trading today. Uh, good time to stop trading while I'm still in green. As you can see here, I'm up $97, which uh, probably does not cover my uh, commissions today. But um, well, I have to stop somewhere. So $97 in the money is good. Now, there's uh, the, I, I've done several trades today. Um, some of them double trades like... Uh, uh, mRNA twice a loser and um, Mara added as it came down which was a very nice trade and so on and so on but you know what I don't want to talk about that let me talk uh, a little bit about something which I think is extremely important and that's big spikes in the market and the S&P and the stocks that you are about to trade now take a look at what happened to TLRY I posted TLRY for short under $56 right over here let me uh, let me draw a line here so we can see that line over here not that it matters much the idea was to short it right here under 56 dollars and the reason was for that which i decided pre-market time but of course i missed it earlier was the daily you see the tlry is extremely extended on the daily and i was expecting it pre-market time to come in now well i forgot about it when we started trading and then i saw an opportunity to go long and of course the end result was i lost money then scott's trade kind of saved the situation but uh, did not cover my loss so the thing is um i i i came back to my original idea to short tlry under 56 dollars the reason i did not take that trade was oh come on the reason I did not take that trade was the fact that the S&P was uh, uh, just crashing down at that point. That's something you need to remember. The point you want to take a trade is the point where the S&P is moving down because it's important, but not when the S&P is already already made a big move down and is expected to pull back up. Now, if you take a look at the S&P at the point where TLRY started coming down, it was approximately here. And at that point, I was expecting a big pullback and the pullback did come from the lows although it did come a little bit afterwards now that doesn't matter the thing is if you move into a trade at the point where you believe is the right point I believe 56 is the right point if you move into this trade when the market is moving down which is what you should do but however move down a bit too much meaning extended to the downside you will be the judge of what is extended and I was the judge of what is extended and I still think it was extended you should expect a big pullback now the pullback could come in right at the point where you move in for example look at this big move up in TLRY and TLRY as you can see did follow the market once the market pulled back from the lows TLRY pulled back from the lows as well which is expected now if you take a look at the numbers here uh, the lows here is approximately $52 the highs here is uh, over 56 so I'm, I'm looking at uh, what um, 52 56 four and a half points approximately four and a half points I believe that if I would have shorted TLRY at $56 right over here and I would have seen it moving up four points I probably couldn't hang on and it probably would have taken me out so timing is also important it's not all about the technical formation it's about the technical formation and about the S&P too so if the S&P is extremely extended to the downside you just wait for the pullback and then look at what happened now S&P started coming down again because it's trending lower and it's likely to continue coming down S&P just started to move lower and at that point well I could have considered taking TLRY again the only way for me to consider was if it was would have moved a little bit higher maybe to 58 and then comes down under 56 once more but at the top here it's almost impossible to know that it's going to continue coming down the entry point should have been like one and a half point lower I didn't want to take the trade anyway and I decided I'm going to finish in green today which is also important so you see you should take a trade short when the market is moving lower but not when the market is extremely extended to the downside you wait until the pullback comes here's the result four and a half points moving higher and then you wait for an opportunity to short it if you get an opportunity to short it which is which you don't always get of course sometimes you do sometimes you don't and um the S&P was definitely too extended to the downside. You could have expected the pullback. You don't want to be there when you just moved into the trade. Of course, this happened a little bit lower than 
the point of entry. But in my opinion, that was too dangerous. At that point, the pullback could have came right when we pushed the button and then I could have been four points uh, underwater. I didn't want to get to that point. So just remember that. Always watch the S&P 500 to make a decision if you move in long or short. It always matters. But remember extreme moves. When the market is too extended to the upside or to the downside, always expect a pullback and don't move in before your stock moves with the pullback and then comes in again. No reason to be read anytime. That's it. It's the only educational thing I can give you today with uh, when I'm up uh, $97. I don't feel like I'm, <laughs> I can educate anything when I'm up $97. <laughs> Funny thing. But, you know, anyway, I think it was worth something. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, thank you for joining us today. And um, it will be a ple pleasure to trade with you tomorrow. So let's see you all tomorrow. Thank you, guys, on YouTube for joining us. If you don't mind giving us a thumb up, we will uh, like it very much. Uh, so thank you all. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.